वेलकम बैक टू दर्शन चैनल मेरा नाम स्टैंडन है और आज हम एथिक्स के बारे में इन डिटेल पढ़ेंगे सो so, इसमें इस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो में आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट व्हाट एथिक्स इज व्हाट एथिक्स इज नॉट एंड एथिक्स एंड अदर साइंसेस सो एथिक्स जो है वो आपका फ़िलासफ़ी का एक ब्रांच है जिसमें वी एग्जामिन व्हाट इज़ राइट एंड रॉन्ग मॉरल बिहेवियर मॉरल कंसेप्ट एंड मॉरल लैंग्वेज so it is a subject which uh, consists of fundamental issues of practical decision making and its major concern includes the nature of ultimate value and the standard by which human act- actions can be judged right and wrong so again it is also known as moral philosophy so uh, moving to the next uh, we will be discussing what ethics is not ethics versus morality ethics how ethics is different from religion how ethics is different from law and culturally accepted norms so let's begin with the first one that is ethics versus morality so in this uh, part i uh, will be talking about what ethics is and what morality and how we can differentiate between ethics and morality because uh, generally we used ethics and morality interchangeably but they have certain apparent differences which we have to focus on सो फर्स्ट अगर आप एथिक्स जो वर्ड है उसको देखते हो सो द ओरिजिन ऑफ द वर्ड इज इन ग्रीक इट्स अ ग्रीक वर्ड इथोस विच मीन्स कैरेक्टर सो एथिक्स कम्स फ्रॉम द ग्रीक वर्ड इथोस वेर इज मोरालिटी कम्स फ्रॉम द लैटिन वर्ड मोस मीनिंग कस्टम्स फर्स्ट डिफरेंस यहाँ पे है एंड द सेकेंड वन इज वॉट इज द meaning itself right so ethics uh, is rules of conduct recognized in respect to a particular class of human action or a particular group or culture whereas morality uh, is principles of habits with respect to right or wrong conduct while morals also prescribes do's and don'ts morality is ultimately a personal compass of right and wrong so yahan pe ye important aapka part aa jata hai morality is personal compass right to wo aapka hai so if you'll see the next point you will come to know that ethics uh comes from the external source yeah it from the external and jo aapka morality hai that is to do with internal next is why do we do it so in case of ethics uh, the ethics is dependent on the others for the definition so it comes from the society it is external in that sense they tend to be consistent within a certain context but can vary between the context but in case of morality usually consistent it is usually consistent but although uh, can change if the individual belief changes again it is more to do with an internal belief so we can change also like ap- apna belief system change bhi kar sakte ho and moving to the next point a person strictly following ethical principle may not have any morals at all and in gains of morality a person moral person although perhaps bound by a higher convent may choose to follow a code of ethics as it would apply to a system make it fit so that is the next point uh, now moving to the next point ethics are governed by professional and legal guidance within a particular time and place whereas morality transcends uh, transcends uh, the culture norms so yahan pe if you take a example let's suppose uh, this this particular doctor x or uske paas ek patient aata hai and that patient is a criminal or that patient has done certain crimes and all so again if the person is injured is the criminal is injured so again it is the duty of the doctor to save the person so again yahan pe aapka medical profession aa jata hai so wo aapka ethics mein fall ho jayega because the society because it comes something from the external side right तो वो चीज़ आपका है देन इफ़ यू टॉक अबाउट द मोरालिटी द पर्सन एज अ डॉक्टर माइट नॉट लाइक द पर्सन राइट बट अगेन फ्रॉम एन एथिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ही और शी हैज़ टू हेल्प दैट क्रिमिनल सो वो आपका एथिक्स में आ जाए 
now let's see some of the differences between ethics and religion so although ethics and religion are distinct concepts but they have certain sort of influence on each other so i'll be explaining some of the key differences between ethics and religion moving with the first point the uh, value or the principle of ethics is universal principle it is based on the universal principle so if you want to determine if an action is right or wrong so it would be based on the universal concepts of justice universal concepts of responsibility and at the same time it can be applied across different cultures and belief system that is the first point whereas agar aap religion ka dekhte ho to religion is faith based in a sense that jo aapka religious belief hai they have certain sort of specific doctrines specific sort of teachings and generally uh, this beliefs are centered around a god or a deity or a deities so that is one point second jo aapka ethics hai that is secular and non religious so again ethics can be uh, followed by someone who is an atheist as well right it does not required a belief in a specific deity or a specific religious doctrine ethical decision making can be based on reason it can be based on reason it can be based on philosophy it can be based on humanism etc right ethics through religion so jo aap ethics follow karte ho religion ke basis pe so usme again we tend to see that this are the certain sort of rules or religious uh, rules which is being set or religious teaching which is being given right so religious tradition offer often provides a moral framework that includes specific commandments or rule so again certain sort of rules certain sort of precepts certain sort of values which is being given through religion as well moving to the next point we have a diversity ethical principle can vary among individuals and cultures but they are not tied to a single religious tradition so again there can be different uh, ethical values but again at the same time it is not based on a religious tradition different cultures and belief system may have their own ethical codes whereas if you'll see in case of religion different religion have different moral codes and what is considered right or wrong can vary significantly from one religion to another for example the code of uh, code in christianity is uh, is different yeah for they differ from the islam ya fir aapka jo buddhism hai to there are certain differences we can uh, which we can see next one is religious authority the religious uh, re- leaders texts or institution often have an authority now again in the ethics point of view so again ethics maybe there can be certain sort of changes which we can make right but jo religious agar aap dekhte ho authority dekhte ho to wo zyada strict hota hai in a way right so ethical guidelines can be within a religious context context moving to the next one we have ethics and a uh, law so there are certain sort of differences between ethics and law as well now moving to the first one we have to understand what is the meaning of law and like how is it different from ethics so the meaning itself if you see the law refers to a systematic body of rules that governs the whole society and the action of its individual member so again it is governing a whole society whereas ethics is a branch of philo- moral philosophy that guides people about the basic human conduct so again you can see certain sort of differences here moving to the next point what is it so again law is set of rules and regulation whereas ethics is set of guidelines so again there are difference between guidelines and the rules and regulations which we have to follow and a law is mostly governed by the government whereas ethics is governed by the individual by the legal and professional norms so again ethics mein aapka legal and professional norms ho sakta hai it can be from an individual extent and uh, law is expressed and published in writing and ethics is generally abstract theek hai to ethics aapka abstract hai but law again we have certain sort of laws right which is published in writing again what will happen if you violate any sort of a law so again violation of law is not permissible within many uh, which may result in punishment like imprisonment fine or yeah, both whereas if you talk about ethics ethics there is no punishment for violation of ethics 
and what is the objective of law law is created with an intent to maintain social order and peace in society and to provide a protection to all uh, citizens right whereas ethics ka agar aap dekhte ho to ethics are made to help people to decide what is right or wrong and how to act so there uh, there is one more difference which we can see is law has a legal binding whereas ethic has ethics do not have an binding nature so this are the uh, differences which we can see uh, between law and ethics now let's see the next one which is ethics and culturally accepted norms so first point aapka hai culture relativism so culture relativism ka meaning kya hai so culture norms are relative to a specific culture and can change over time so jo aapka culture beliefs hai wo aapka with time change ho sakta hai and at the same time it is culture centric ki ek culture mein ek cheez follow ho raha hai dusre mein dusra cheez follow ho raha hai so if you take an example of keltians or if you take the example of greek uh, which is being given by james richard so wahan pe uh, in the calitians people they consume the dead parents whereas in greek or in other cultures hum log cremate karte so again we can see certain sort of differences in the culture uh, norms right so what is cons- uh, considered morally accepted in one culture may be unacceptable in another ethical principle on other hand are often based on universal concepts of right and wrong so again we can see the difference ek mein aapka hai universal concept whereas on one hand in cultural relativism we have different norms moving to the next one we have moral dilemmas ethical dilemmas can arise when we are individual when an individual is faced uh, with a situation where the culturally accepted norms conflict with personal ethical belief in such cases they must make a moral decision based on their own moral principle which may or may not align with the culture norm that is the second point moving to the next one we have culture evolution so culture evolve over time and when we uh, and what was once considerable accepted may become ethically unacceptable due to the changing societal values for example historical cultural norms that condemned slavery or discriminations are now widely seen as ethically wrong so ye aapka culture evolution mein aa jayega next we have individual variation within any culture there can be variation in ethical beliefs among individual people may have personal values and principle that differ from the dominant cultural norms uh, they may choose to act in accordance with their own ethical framework so this are some of the pointers uh, now let's see uh, ethics and other sciences so i'll be differentiating between psychology anthropology social and political science and last me economics so uh, isme what i have done is so uh, i've classified in on two bases one is what is the focus or what is the aim of ethics and the second is the methodology so again i'll be applying this same thing to the other sciences as well so first one in now you might be clear with it what is the focus of ethics ethics deals with question of moral values principle what is right what is wrong in human behavior and it seeks to provide its guidelines or how individual and society should act based on the principles of morality so wo aapka एथिक्स का फोकस है देन वॉट इज़ द मेथडोलॉजी विच इज़ बिंग यूज अगेन मेथडोलॉजी रिलाइज ऑन द फिलोसफिकल एनालिसिस क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग आपका रीजनिंग हो गया या नॉर्मेटिव एंड प्रिस्क्रिप्टिव भी हो सकता है एमिंग टू इस्टेब्लिश गाइडलाइंस फॉर द ह्यूमन कंडक्ट सो अगेन इसमें आपका एथिक्स का फोकस एंड मेथडोलॉजी है नाउ नेक्स्ट में वील सी एथिक्स एंड साइकोलॉजी एथिक्स एंड साइकोलॉजी में साइकोलॉजी वॉट इज़ द फोकस ऑफ साइकोलॉजी हेयर्स द साइकोलॉजी इज द स्टडी ऑफ माइंड एंड बिहेवियर इट सीक्स टू अंडरस्टैंड ह्यूमन कॉग्नीशन इमोशन पर्सनैलिटी बिहेवियर एंड ऑफन यूज इम्फेरिकल research to uncover the underlying process and what is the methodology how the methodology is different from ethics here psychology employs a range of research method including experiments survey observations it is descriptive and seeks to explain and predict behavior so ye aapka psychology ka the next we have uh, ethics and anthropology so again yahan pe we will be talking about the focus of anthropology and the methodology which is being used so anthropology is the study of human societies and culture 
examining the diversity development and behavior and it includes what the biological aspect the linguistic the archaeological aspect to ye sab cheez aapka एंथ्रोपोलॉजी uh, में आता है एंड देन मेथड कौन सा हम यूज करते हैं एंथ्रोपोलॉजी में राइट सो एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट कंडक्ट फील्ड वर्क एथोनोग्राफी एंड ऑफन क्वालिटेटिव रिसर्च मेथड टू गेन ए डीपर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द कल्चर एंड सोसाइटी सो ये आपका एंथ्रोपोलॉजी से एथिक्स कैसे डिफरेंट है वो आ गया मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट वन इज एथिक्स एंड सोशल पोलिटिकल साइंस so the focus of socio political science examines human society the institution the power dynamics and again social studies mein hum log uh, society ka study karte hain the human behavior ka study karte hain while jo aapka political science hai wahan pe the more focus is on the government politics and policies right and then again now the methodology which is being used Uh, in case of methodology, the field use a variety of methods, including आपका सर्वे हो गया इंटरव्यूज हो गए डाटा एनालिसिस हो गया केस स्टडीज हो गया राइट सो अगेन इन दिस वे इट इज़ अगेन वेरी डिफरेंट फ्राम द एथिक्स जहाँ पर हम लोग क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग एनालिसिस फिलासफिकल मैथड्स यूज करते हैं राइट नेक्स्ट आपका लास्ट विच इज एथिक्स एंड इकोनॉमिक्स so in case of economics uh, economic studies the allocation of resources production distribution and consumption of good and services it examines uh, economic behavior market and how people make a choice to maximum utility right now the methodology which is being followed in economics is economics use the quantitative method models and data analysis to understand economic process and making uh, make prediction it is primarily concerned with efficiency resource allocation and market behavior so this are the differences between ethics and other sciences so i've covered it in short do like share and subscribe thank you